Interstellar is my favorite movie of all time for its depiction of my favorite scientific concepts. I love how Cooper was able to travel across the universe and return back to the solar system in his lifetime. That got me thinking. The universe has a radius of about 47 billion light years, and the nearest solar system, Alpha Centauri, is about four light years away from us. So how exactly are we going to be able to travel so far and back in our lifetimes? Is interstellar travel even possible for humans to achieve? Well, let's take a look. The first step is to leave the solar system. For that, we would need to be traveling at least at the escape velocity, which is about 42.1 kilometers per second. To reach that, we would perform what is called a gravity assist, which uses the planet's gravitational energy to increase the spaceship's velocity. Eventually, we will reach speeds fast enough to escape the solar system, much like the Voyager missions did. However, the Voyager missions will still take 40,000 years to reach Alpha Centauri, so there obviously needs to be a much faster way of travel but there's still a couple of problems that we need to consider. In interstellar space, there are extreme amounts of cosmic radiation. There are also intense solar winds that may damage the spaceship. We also have the major problem that humans will have to spend long amounts of time alone on the spaceship. But we can solve that last problem with these proposed ways of travel. The first method is traveling through what is called an Einstein-Rosen bridge. This classic example can be explained by this sheet of paper, which represents the space-time continuum. The bridge curves space-time in a way where you can poke a wormhole through it allowing for us to travel through it to another region of space very quickly. However, this is extremely theoretical and would require us to jump into a black hole, which isn't exactly the safest thing to do. The next idea is ion propulsion, which uses charged particles to generate thrust. This is safe and effective because only 860 kilograms of fuel will last up to five and a half years. And the good news is that NASA has already developed this type of engine called the NEXT, but it is still too slow to reach Alpha Centauri. For that, there's the light sail, which uses the fact that photons, or light particles, despite not having any mass, have momentum. The Breakthrough Starshot project is working on developing a powerful laser that will beam at a nanocraft carrying a light sail, which will propel it at about 20% the speed of light, which would take about 20 years to reach Alpha Centauri. The only problem with this is that it would take an extremely large laser to propel a regular spaceship. But the project seems to be the most promising idea for the early stages of interstellar travel. So after all of this considered, is interstellar travel possible for humanity to achieve? Well, here's what I have to say about that. 60 years ago, NASA sent Alan Shepard into space using a slide rule. Today, we're sending humans to Mars using supercomputers. So think about what humans can do at this rate of advancement in the next 100 years. One thing's for certain that it is important to consider the human safety on board first. Nevertheless, a lot of breakthroughs are going to happen in space travel, and I can't wait to witness them.